from Shiba and I'm Felix Baby. Together, we are your host on Niger Trends. Niger Trends is an exclusive to the Gallery Studio, and here you get to watch us pick part on hot and spicy topics that is trending on social media for the week. And you, our viewers, get to join in and share your views with Dex to the rest of the South Center. Join us every Wednesday as we give you the pleasure of enjoying great entertainment, trending information, it's a conversation, all packed in one. Shiva, I can't wait. No, we like baby. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> It's another beautiful Wednesday, the last day of the month of March. I'm so excited. I'm going into a new month. So I want to use this opportunity to wish all our fans out there, all our viewers, a happy new month in advance and then happy Easter celebration in advance too. And of course, I know you'll be wondering that, okay, you should have heard um, Shiba's voice underneath. Well, mm. Shiva is on a special assignment and then she won't be joining us today. But don't you worry, you know I can't be alone on the program. So I have a beautiful dancer, hmm, an elegant queen, like, hmm, I know she's blushing right now, so she's just like, she's processing what she wants to say. So don't you worry, hmm, mama, the guest mama, as in, how far now? So how are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, right, it's up to our fans now. Let them hear you. Well, thank you so much for, for joining us this afternoon for another day uh, on Ninja Trend. Our topic today will be so interesting. So I I I encourage you to sit and enjoy. Okay now, Uma. So Uma said you people should watch, sit, relax, and then don't go nowhere because the topic we have today is something so exciting and it has to do with every one of us especially with the youth and so the topic we'll be discussing today is the role of the youth in nation building mm -hmm. and of course don't worry you know we always have a guest with us in the studio so let's go on this break and then when we come back we will be revealing who our guest is go nowhere in life you can never be too sure who to trust this is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here, Udra. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. It is here again. Are you an artist looking for a place to produce and promote your musical videos? Or a content creator in need of a platform to air your program? The Gallery TV got you covered. At the Gallery, we provide world-class production services. Such as event coverage, promotion and production of musical videos, studio rental, live streaming of events. We also provide airtime for your program on all our platforms. These and lots of other interesting packages, all at an affordable price with a 10% discount. For more details, you can visit us on our website at www.thegallerytv or on our social media platforms at The Gallery TV on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The Gallery TV, we set the pace. Sure. And if you're just joining us, the show is still nine just trends. And as I said before we go on the break that we will be revealing who our guest is. And don't you worry, our guest is right here on the seat. And he's someone of a high caliber. He's somebody that you would love to see and you would want to love him talk. Now, let me introduce who our guest is to us today. His name is Chris Asuleme. 
I might even correct with the pronunciation. And you're good. You're good. You're okay, good. the CEO of Creative Director of Tenmat Communication Limited, a creative communications with media production outfit. Chris is a public speaker, a social activist, and also publisher and a political pundit. He is an advocate of youth development and nation building. So you can all see that our guest for today he has a connection with our topic. So, Mr. Chris, you're welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so nice having you on the program, finally. <laughs> like, I've been, as in, I've been on in the high spirit, like, hey, I want to see my guests, I want to meet my guests, <laughs> with my guests. And then I know I found too, I also in that spirit with me, like, okay, now with our guests. So, let's go back to the topic of the day. Okay. So, you know, talking about um youth, you know, in recent time, you know, well, um, other than the olden times where we have um, our parents doing our parents' area whereby they do with um the uh what we call it, terrestrial um mm -hmm. means of communication where they go they send um a letter or either they call or they go visiting people. But now we have the social media. Now social media are taking a whole lot of things from real the youth especially. And so and then this social media are taking our time, they're taking um, the way we relate with things, both um, politics, so our social lives, everything, it has dominated us all. Now, can we say, can you, you still achieve their aims or their objective through our social media? Oh, very well. Um, the social media is a tool. Now, it not depends on what you do with the tool. Okay. The social media itself is not bad. Now, it depends on the person engaging with social media, what you make do of social media, that, it, that makes it bad or good. Mm -hmm. It's like a knife. Knife on its own is not bad. What you do with a knife will, will, will determine if the knife will be good or bad. Okay? okay. So, um, don't forget that a lot of people have made a lot of money on social media. People have discovered themselves, have opened up careers for themselves. People are doing massive things. People yes. have gained global reputation and all yes, of that sure. on social media. And of course, yes, it also distract a lot of people and that's cute of them too. Wow. So you you have that social media has made and ma a lot of people. Now we're talking about um the making aspect of, of the social media. Can you help us elaborate more so that our friends could uh on that? Okay, fine. Um you know it's often said that uh uh the world is a global village. Yes. Okay, so the social media brings the world together, it's like a tap away from you. So distance is broken, okay, so you can stay right in front of your room. And then the whole world will be seeing you. That's the advantage of social media. Social media. Okay, so you can, if you can leverage on that, you have, you have a content to put on social media, and then you, your rise of prominence will just be just be like that. And then uh, you have something like to sell, something to do. You know, the stream is a wonderful platform. So all you need to do is just um, put your content together and then leverage on the platform, on the platform. of social media. Wow. And then you are there before the world. The world. Okay, so Uma. Yeah, you said that uh, is a that social media is a place that you can you can let people know exactly what you want. So I want to ask: apart from social media, is there any other way or any other tool that can use can can use to bring development in the nation? Oh, obviously, yeah. The, the regular media is there, and besides that, there's still the grassroots mobilization. Okay. which is still the most effective anyway how that you can you can reach out to people at the community level and then get to engage them either in the communication or or getting things done for example the, the youth can come forward and start doing things um that is tantamount to development okay like um you're talking about bad roads now for example you're seeing some bad roads patches and so the youth can get come together and start working on those roads so they can use that uh and uh, that can become a stronghold for them to challenge the government to fix the world. Okay, so you're not just like an armchair critic, or just staying back and saying government should do something. But you're on the field doing something. Okay, making sure the roads are motorable and good. All right, and then at the level that you can, and then you're using that as a springboard to speak to authority. You have the, you have the resources, you know, so you come on board and do what is right. So that's practically going to the community level and getting things done. And of course, there's that area uh, angle of mobilizing the community. Okay, um, in terms of awareness and making them understand what they should be doing, what they should be advocating for, and just educating community and making people get to know what to do and to bring about development. All right, sir. So, what are the major um, 
uh, things uh, that major roles that the youth need to play concerning the nation building okay fine um first uh let's appreciate the fact that the youth population is an advantage okay so uh the population of the youth is a strength on its own that has given the youth um a, a voice okay so um if the youth can maximize or manage this um population advantage now they can get to speak and government listen to them all right so um to do that that means that first and foremost um the youth must come to awareness of that strength okay they must come to awareness of it and then there will be something like a witness of that strength and there will be aggressive pursuits of that strength so it comes to the fact that the youth coming to understand that the, the number they have is an advantage and they play on that okay uh um and first the youth will uh, aggregate what they can bring on board because we have we have gifted youths in nigeria we've seen you do export okay and then uh, there are quite a number of youths that have something to offer but you see there is strength in, in, in coercion you need to find a platform to come together and then aggregate their thoughts and it becomes like a voice like a movement okay that will now speak for the nation and then challenge the authority on what should be done okay you made mention of um, the strength now what is the strength all about yeah um the strength is your negotiating uh uh point is like that usp the unique selling point selling points okay yes. fine so because the youth has the number all right and then um in a nation like this because of the number of the youth so it gives the youth a voice all right for example we saw we saw answers yes. all right that was like a revolt of the youth all right and then okay at the end of the day um i'm not sure if i'm here or there okay at first it was a perfect thing yes. okay along the line there was a deviation yes. that messed up the entire yes. process yes. but for the first time we saw a movement that arrested government all right so that is the strength of the youth the youth came out in numbers in millions all right so that's the youth speaking that's an aggregation of strength okay so that's you coming up to say this is what we want this is how we want to be governed all right so at that point uh, our government was jittery and listening to the youth that's strength that's bringing strength to fall all right so there was a need for um if the the movement had more direction and was a bit more specific yeah. on what to do and they were able to stand by that and drive it without giving more room for what eventually came in all right that would have just been our independence okay as a nation okay so is there any other tool we can still use apart from our strengths well when you go to a battle what you leverage on is your strength okay, <laughs> okay? so you just need to analyze your strengths um know what your strengths are and then um set out on your strengths okay that is it guys i hope you're enjoying the topic and if you're still with us the program is still niger trends and we will be going on the short break and when we come back we're going to know where to see more from our guests in life you can never be too sure who to trust this is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out your withdrawal. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man is just being kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. Hey, welcome back. And the program is still Nigeria Trends. And if you are just joining us, you have not miss anything because you can say cash up and then even after the program, you can still go back to rewatch. And then, um, so you were talking about the um the protest, the NSAS protest the other yeah. time, and then you during the protest, um, the protest started online. Okay. And I think majority of the people that were protesting were online protesters because that was our way that the youth were able to reach out to many people outside the country. Yeah. So now, what can we do? What does the voice of the youth still count when it comes to politics? Because right now, you know, when um it got to a particular stage, we think the government they were achieving and they were like ah, this youth or oh, these things, this, 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 that. I think these people are coming to hijack us. Victor, let's start 
re-strategizing ourselves to uh, meet up to their needs, meet up to their demands. And now it's got to a point that the old things change. I think the youths they got relaxed or something of um, the whole maybe the uh, hoodlums um activities change the whole uh, story and then we had a different thing and now the, it's like the voice of the youth does not count in anything again both in politics both in uh, social um vices and all that so what i say on this okay fine um let, let, let me start with this i uh, i started by saying that the youth have a strength in terms of numbers now it's interesting to know that uh, about over 60 percent of the voting population are uh, within the age bracket of 18 to 40 45 there about that's a huge lot okay with that number you can negotiate um for things to go your direction okay but first um uh, before you can effectively do that there is a need for you to position yourself not about the youth generally now as an entity for you to position yourself to be able to maximize your strength in that direction okay so that means that number one and um, the youth should be able to have um to draw character all right so the youth should be seen as um have um have been taken seriously now we have a lot of youth that think okay um fashion is you know, they're thinking fashion the other way around mm -hmm. and they present themselves in such a way that they cannot be taken seriously now uh, ironically all the leaders we see in the nation today they started out as young people some became head of state in their 30s, early 40s, as at late 20s, we already anchoring stuff in the nation, doing mighty works, okay? But the youth today, now the question is how ready are the youth? So first and foremost, the youth must draw character, then deepen capacity, all right? Because if we are, um, like I said to people, power is not given, power is taken, all right? Now if you're going to do that, you must first uh, dig your capacity. Do you have what to offer at that level? Okay, then number three, then you also need to uh, develop your charisma. Your charisma, we saw that with the answers. How youth came out, I know, uh, it, was, it was a surge, okay? But then it came out as a surge. How about the management of that? Okay, now that's critical. Now, because there was no um, clear call direction per se. So when the, thing came, when the surge came out in terms of, in terms of uh, charisma, it was not properly managed, okay? And then it went down, all right? So, and again, you also need to like deepen your confidence to be like you are aware of your strength you, you are working in that direction and they are ready to deploy it okay so the youth must put their confidence together and then their competence must speak for them all right so once they can put all of this together then they then they should themselves to be ready and then they go for it now don't forget that uh, there will be the need for uh, to mobilize to uh to put the youth strength together so that it will become a force it's not divided yes. it's collective okay so once you can do that you build trust among yourself and, and okay, going back to, uh, to NSAS, you see uh, what is coming out of NSAS, uh, poor management of the phone and all of that. So when things like this come, keep coming up, nobody's going to take the youth serious, all right? But for the youth to be taken seriously, they need to be able to manage their strengths and then put it to proper use to negotiate the bend of the nation. And I say this to young people. You see, the old people managing the leadership of this nation right now, they're on their way out. Yes, sure. They're edging out. So they're going to uh, prepare a grant for the youth to live on the background so if the youth are going to be the one to live on what they are preparing okay. then we have a strong say in how this thing should be done but for us to be taken seriously we first need to prove our competence and our capacity to to relate and learn wow but, sir, okay sir but why is it that recently or in our nation now the voices of the youth are not being heard I mean, what's 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 the cause? Is it that the youths are not united, as you said, or there is nobody that is organizing the youth together? Ah, uh, well, it's something like what I've been saying. The youth have strength, but there is no conscious management of that strength. So okay? how do we realize that? Okay, what? fine. The youth, there must be something like a, a a communication, a mobilization. The youth must come together and then okay, uh, and then look at different areas of the nation where uh, that is demanding for attention. For example, I led a solo protest of, uh, of the power situation in Nigeria in terms of electricity. I did that for the whole, the whole month of August. I did a solo protest. I uh, was all over the social media and all of, And just during that time, the president came up and then the president was saying that uh, an end to estimated billion and all of that was all about end to the criminality of estimated billion. Okay, that was an aspect of a nation that needs to be fixed. And I took that upon myself and I did that. Every day I was on the street campaigning in that direction okay so there are different areas of nation and uh, 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 national development 
that is begging for attention. Okay, now the youth, we need to first spread ourselves into all of these areas, but there must be a cohesion of the youth speaking together. So there must be a conscious uh, attempt for the youth to aggregate the, their force together and then be able to come together like a team, all right, and then departmentalize into different areas of the nation. But very importantly, the youth must learn to uh, find a curve of how to come together and build and put the strength together. That's important. Because if we don't do that, we will be divided. And once we are divided, we cannot confront this guy because they have resources, they have power, they have money, they have um, everything. So the only way we can get to talk to them effectively is when the youth are united. Oh, okay. Are you saying that we are not doing enough? The youths are not doing enough? Well, obviously, the youth are not doing enough. The youth are always not doing enough. So uh, um, what should be going on now should be an intentional mobilization, all right? To awaken the youth for the need to maximize our strength in nation building. All right, because we have it. We have it. We keep saying that we want to get it, we want to get it. No, it's not going to happen. Uh, 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 they're not just going to walk out of power. These guys are not going to walk out of influence. We have to take it. All right, then for us to take it, we must have worked on our capacity. And it comes down to the youth coming together in a platform. All right, of course, we have millions of people who are not going to just agree like that. But you see, it's give and take. There must be a conscious attempt to bring the youth together, all right? To now fall, it's, it's like um, they are defining what the youth should do. Okay. Yeah. And then once that is done, and then we know our direction. Like, let me come back to NSAS, all right? The NSAS were priding in uh, no leaders, no leaders. And I was, and I, I, that was frightening for me. Now, when, you, when, a, mo when a motion is out there, uh, a movement is out there, and there is no leadership to it, it's not going to achieve anything. There will not be direction, all right? So it's got to be intentional. So we saw what answers did. Answers should be a shadow of what should come after answers in a proper sense of it. Okay, that we see the youth more united, right. and then and then spelling out what we actually want. Okay, now imagine answers was able to achieve this and that strength right. when they came together and it was a big force before the blocking of the road because I thought that was not needed. Government was already budging. Okay, so when government was budging, it was time to negotiate. Now when you open up a protest and you do not give a room for 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 dialogue, you make it an, uh, an you, 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 you lead it to anarchy, and that eventually happened. So when they made a protest and the government saw the vibration of the youth, I don't know what it is. So at that point, the youth would have gone into negotiate and would have been negotiated from the point of, 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 point of strength, all right? Now, imagine at that point, the youth began to negotiate concerning maybe uh, uh, the legislators, like they are way too expensive for the nation to manage. The youth demand for a cut down of their pay. The youth demand for how the youth can be taken on terms of welfare and on practical terms. The youth demands for our, our academic system to, to be rebuilt and all that, the policing, security, and employment, and all of those things. We're going to negotiate for all of those things that will strengthen the nation. At that point, we had the opportunity, but because there was no direction and the coercion was not strong enough, we threw that away. Okay, you made mention of um, youth not doing anything. Is that that you're supporting the president's speech the other time when he said um, Nigerian youths are lazy? Ah, well um that uh, we shouldn't take that in the blanket from format okay okay um obviously we have a lot of youth that are doing massively well for themselves and then and making the nation proud and of course yes we have a number of youth that are just wasting off we have a number of youth that are that are that are disgraced to the nation yeah. that's that's a fact but, yeah. but at the same time we can take positive from it the fact that there are a lot of youth doing massively well and we can take advantage of that to to see what we can do together and then be more purposeful and intentional in a coming nation building. Because the truth is, I, I, I can't say this enough. The nation is for the youth to take, but the youth must deepen our capacity to do that, must be intentional for that purpose, and then go straight for it. Okay, so we are running out of time. But before we go, sir, you know, on a final note, we want you to talk to our uh, youth. The youth out there, they want to more, hear more from you. Like, advise them on what they can do to take this nation in Nigeria. Because without the youth, you know, youth are like pillars to a house. And then without the pillars of the house, the house will collapse one day. So we youth, we are pillars of the country. So we want you to advise us on what to do to, in order to take this nation to a better place. All right. Um, I, I was speaking to fellow Nigerian youth now. Um, so what I'm saying is this. You need to be aware of the strength that we have as young people. And then we must uh, come to a, an awakening of that strength and again be aggressive in pursuit of that strength. So what I'm saying is this. We must be cautious of the fact that the future of the nation is ours to decide. 
Now, whatever the guys on top are doing right now, now we should be able to influence their decisions because we are going to leave uh, the decision they are making for us now. So we're not going to like stay aloof and watch them make decisions that will hinder us or that will not go well with us. So that's why it's imperative for Nigerian youth to come forward now, deepen our capacity and show our competence. But very importantly, we must be able to, uh, to mobilize ourselves and then come together in one voice and then define what we want as youth to influence nation building, um, particularly Nigeria. Nigeria. All right. Thank you so much, sir. It's so nice talking to you. All the yeah. I guess you enjoyed today's show. Yes, I did. All right, guys. This is where yeah. we will be drawing the cutting for today. And then, Mr. Chris, I hope when we call on you another time, you would hear. I'll, I'll, I'll be so excited to be here again. <laughs> All right. So, this is where we would be drawing the cutting for today. And don't forget, the program is still. Nigerian Trace, and we are available on all the social media platform on the Gallery TV, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, and of course on Twitter. So we are always online. You can watch us at the convenience of your home. So don't forget, you can also for adverts and sponsorship, you can call on the number screen, um, scrolling on the screen to place your adverts, and then for sponsorship of this program. So the program is still neither chance until we come your way next week. Have a lovely weekend and a super Easter celebration. So we say bye bye. <laughs> what is that? It is here again. Are you an artist looking for a place to produce and promote your musical videos? Or a content creator in need of a platform to air your program? The Gallery TV got you covered. At the gallery, we provide world-class production services. Such as event coverage, promotion and production of musical videos, studio rental, live streaming of events. We also provide airtime for your program on all our platforms. These and lots of other interesting packages, all at an affordable price with a 10% discount. For more details, you can visit us on our website at the www.thegallerytv or on our social media platforms at The Gallery TV on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The Gallery TV, we, we set, set the, the pace. pace.